How many times in life I have watched people say with great conviction, preaching what they believe, and then in their actions they do the exact opposite. I was with a man one time that was driving so fast, <laughs> as he's driving way over the speed limit. I'm talking 80 miles an hour in a 55 zone. He's talking about how he believes in speed laws and how they have saved so many lives and on and on and on. In Romans 14, 23, it says, if the way you live isn't consistent with what you believe, then it's wrong. English clergyman Thomas Fuller observed, he does not believe who does not live according to his belief. Well, these words are most certainly true. We may proclaim our beliefs to our heart's content, but our proclamations will mean nothing to ourselves or to others unless we accompany our words with matching deeds. The sermons we live are far more compelling than the ones that we preach. Like it or not, your life is an accurate reflection of your creed. If this fact gives you some cause for concern, don't bother talking about the changes that you intend to make. I hear that every day. Well, I'm going to do this, they say. I will do this. There is no will. Do it now. That's the only way to change a life. Make the commitment and just stop doing what you're doing and make the change. And then, when your good deeds speak, speak for themselves, as they most certainly will, the positive message of your life will be clear to everyone. It has been said there can be no happiness if the things we believe in are different from the things we do. Well, I wish you happiness. I truly do with everything inside of my soul. I wish that I had the power to come through the screen and touch you and say, in Jesus Christ's name, be happy. I can only provide... Um, a directional point, you have to make the decision. To live your creed, to live in a way that blends your beliefs and your actions together, to find happiness and to find true satisfaction in living that way, being true to yourself, true to God. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray, though, right now, that you are blessed and that you're happy.